two years, quite long time, basically. But it was useful to experiment with different approaches. And then once we were ready to finalize the API, we could just fr- froze it and that's how it stayed over time. And we kept adding more features, of course, more high-level components, but they all worked with the low-level API. Yeah. So the tactic that we often used is just keeping the old functions or, or old types that we had there, marking them as deprecated and suggesting to use another one. So a good example is our SQRS component for handling events and commands. And at the beginning, we have some super weird, crazy, complex interface. Now it's still there, but it's deprecated. And we have nicer API using generics now that you should use. But if you are using the old one and you don't have time to migrate, okay, that's totally fine. It's still working as it were five years ago. So I think it's pretty cool. And it, it wasn't a huge effort to keep it backwards compatible. Most of the time, it's not. It, you just need some some deprecation comments and maybe keep some old tests in the repository.